We were just enjoying a little John Lee Hooker. Uh, the girls are hanging out with us today, and it changes our whole attitude. Oh, yeah. You know, when you have some lovely ladies uh, come on board. Shrek Love, who does so much for the iBang that everybody that enjoys the entire bank should thank her all the time. Uh, Liz says fire is probably way too busy to help. And then also... Yeah. God, for, God forbid, right? Yeah, she has a life. Yeah. And then Holly is here from St. Pete, Seattle, and who knows what town she'll move on to after this. She's just a tumbling tumbleweed. But the girls tried to get out of me what Fez's Christmas present was from a couple years that I have not told. It was just a shockingly awkward gift, right? And I came very close. I was sitting here, as they were wrong guessing, I almost... And I thought, but then they'll just tell other people. You know what I mean? Like, I could never feel safe around you guys. But will, should this be the year that I say? I, I find it to be the most uncomfortable thing that's ever happened. I'm so fucking curious about what the hell he gave you. I, I need to know. Yeah. All right, well, suppose this. <laughs> what if you found some of Fez's jizz on your back, right? Oh. I will go so far to say this. This was more uncomfortable. <laughs> you should never fucking say that. This was more uncomfortable. I would be able to deal with, all right, dude, you had to bust your nut, but don't do it again. But this other thing made me even more uncomfortable than that. Was it the jar of toenails? No, 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 no. 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 Worse? Yeah. I think the worst thing about it is that it was thoughtful. That was the worst thing about it. Um... Maybe one. Maybe this will be the year that I tell, because this happened a couple of years ago, right? Yeah, yeah. And it took me too. a good, like <laughs> even one year before I admitted that it happened. Well, you said when you got it, you didn't even you didn't you just left it where it was. <laughs> I left it where it was, and I'm not making this up. I didn't sleep that night. I did oh, not I go to, to sleep because <laughs> I was like such a you know what I mean. Such a strange thing to happen <laughs> that I thought to myself, what do I even know? Uh, there's you know, no response to it, right? Yeah, there's no response, but there's only more questions. <laughs> <laughs> only a ridiculous amount of more questions. This is a great mystery is what this is. I'm fucking, I'm, I need to know what the fuck he gave you. Yeah, I don't know whether you do or not. There's plenty of things you don't need to know. Uh, Vito wanted to come in and meet the girls. Uh, Vito is, well, he's right now, he's uh, New York's favorite young bartender. Oh, he does his sling drinks. There he is, everybody. <laughs> now, Vito, you're not wearing one of your wrestling shirts today. I am. What does it say? It says, finally, The Rock has come back to WrestleMania. Okay, great. <laughs> he's, he's just taking his clothes off. Yeah. He's stripping already. He geez. really is. You just flash butt crack at the ladies. I know that you don't mean to. Sometimes you got to show it all off. No, you don't. No. There's never no. a time that you have to do that, particularly when you're an intern. Yes. There's always time. No, there isn't time. <laughs> this is not the time. Bullshit. And you're never even awake anymore. What? Did you sleep at all last night? Yeah, I slept like three hours. Okay. All right, good. Fridays aren't if you do a strong day. <laughs> we wanted to call him Jersey Shore. <laughs> yeah. But the fact is, he's just too lovable. He's just he's <laughs> doing the thing. Vito's one of those guys that you would like to yell at, but we never do. No, he's very likable. Never get yelled at. No, and a lot of times he thinks he's helping by stacking all of our equipment up and, you know, <laughs> yeah. in the hall. Like, got that. I'm like, that's not the right thing. You're you actually know? hurting us <laughs> yes, right this now. Is, we're about to go in the air, <laughs> and you've got everything stacked up in the hall. Uh, Vito, d do you have a girl in your life right now? No. I'm just chilling solo. Okay, know? chilling solo. Killing the game. Killing the bar game. All those fives. <laughs> Oh. oh, you're just going after less than... Yeah. So you had a box up for us on the entire bank today. Yeah, well, I mean, aside from working at the bar and everything, like, one thing I've noticed is the tramp stamp that we know and love, you don't really see that much anymore. The tramp stamp is the name that we give to the back tattoo. The lower back tattoo. Yeah. Like Vince Vaughn said, Wedding Crashers, you know, might as well be a bullseye. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's the tramp stamp anymore. I think the tramp stamp has evolved. And now... It's the rib cage tattoo. The rib cage oh. tattoo. And now, if you see a girl with the rib cage tattoo and you put these up on the eye bang, 
They're just multiple pictures of rib cage <laughs> tattoos. Yeah. All right, that's interesting, I guess. Or one would have worked. Um, what does that tell you? What does the rib cage tattoo tell you? Move your ass, because Holly's trying to say. Oh, well, there you the go. Rib, the rib cage tattoo tells you she wants to show some skin. Okay. Like, she has this tattoo, and she wants to show it off to people. So you got a lot of dresses that are, like, showing off the midriff. And I think the most popular one is the scripture rib tattoo. That's the number one tramp stamp. What are we talking about there? Like, they put... Bible... Scripture like inspirational messages like yeah, on their ribs. On yeah, their ribs. very rarely it's Bible. It's probably a song <laughs> lyric or something. Okay, then I wouldn't call it scripture. <laughs> Vito's confused by what, the what kind of things does it normally say there? Uh, like Megan Fox has said, there was it's something like there once was a girl who fell in love and then a boy hurt her. You know that that isn't scripture, right? That that's not from the Bible. Yes, it is from. The, that's from the. <laughs> no, it's just <laughs> it's script. From the Torah. It's not from any of those. Are you sure? Yeah. All right, what's this one say here? That one says... No. Do not follow where the path may lead. Instead, go where there is no path and leave a trail. All right, not one of these is scripture. Again, it just words don't make something the Bible. When I said scripture, I meant script. Okay. <laughs> All right. Curse that works a little more. That looks... All right, what do we got here? Life is about taking chances and never regretting them. <coughs> heavy. These are heavy. Yeah. It's yeah. some serious shit. This is the kind of stuff that your mom uh, tries to forward to you. <laughs> oh, great. Thanks, Mom. You're right. It's replaced like the Asian characters. I don't see many Asian characters. I miss there. that, too. Yeah. And then people wouldn't tell you what it means. Like, this is, no, this is personal to me. I like when someone says tribal, and then you have to say, but is that from your tribe? It doesn't matter. <laughs> All right, here's Erock's chick has something. What is it exactly? <laughs> what does that one say? It, it says looks Ashley. like just death it's metal. Just her name. It says Ashley. Okay, that's, that's nice. That's, I hope it's Ashley. In case okay. she forgets. Or maybe it's just a friend of hers. All right, so your point is, if you see a girl with any of these tattoos, you're ready to get Have lucky. At it. Okay. Go for it. Fire uh, there's this, uh, yeah. Get in there, champ. <laughs> we got you. Yeah. We yeah. think we get all the metaphors. Now. Feed alcohol. To women. <laughs> I have the good old fashioned tramp stamp. No, no modern age one. Oh, is that right? Yep. What age did you get that at? Sixteen. Sixteen. Yep. First one at sixteen. Second one seventeen. Third one at eighteen. And then it took me like ten years, and I got some more. Now the first one, what made you think I want one there? So the folks won't see it. Uh, because I was 16 and I was like, oh, this would be so cool. Like, wear this little tank top and people will see it and be like, oh, how'd she get that? She's only 16. And I'd be like, yeah. fake ID. Right. <laughs> um, but do you regret it now? No. Never regret anything. No, even like the few that I got when I was young, I I w might cover them eventually just because they're in good spots and I want to get bigger pieces, but uh -huh. I love all of them. Even my uh, my Chinese symbols. <laughs> even your Chinese symbols. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. What was the Chinese symbol for what? Strength. It is funny that <laughs> these things now become about a time of life. You know what I mean? Yeah. If someone has the barbed wire around the arm, you know you could go <laughs> say that took place this year. The Chinese symbols were another Very year. Very nineties. Yeah. These thing here, I guess, is going to be the twenty thirteen. This is this is the sign of our times. Yeah. This this fucking ribcage tattoo is huge. Every they are. They really are, though. They're everywhere. We should get some while we're here. Down. <laughs> Just something about Narxedo and the <laughs> right. benefit. Yeah. Sure. To remember, yeah. this takes me back. <laughs> so now, we didn't realize this. We have tattoo nostalgia, where yeah. it never really existed before. Well, there's, there's trends. We're nostalgic about certain eras and tattoos. I think over the last like ten years, like the chest tattoo has become ridiculously big. Of, of not like, just, like there used to be people who would get a lot of tattoos, and those would just be people who had a lot of tattoos. But now, like normal people, regular people, are just getting chest tattoos. They look terrible. Well, don't you always get pictures of your boys that were murdered? Isn't that uh, <laughs> a very big thing for you to do? Then I go into a story and put up murals. For them. Um, I always like this is my son, and you're like, well, he's not always going to look like that. <laughs> You know, you're going to update that later? No, this is how I want to remember my dog. <laughs> my little dog. Um, all right, here, Eric is going to help us out. Eric, you're on the Run of Fez show. Hey, buddy, what's happening? Yeah. 
Hey, so I work at a tattoo shop, and uh, what was known as the tramp stamp for lower back tattoo, uh, we now call the the side or rib tattoo on on girls the uh, hoe handle. All right, you should you should have been all over this one. Hoe handles. Fez, go ahead and make an, an immediate change to hoe handles, and up on the eye bang and make it look like it's us. So there's the hoe handle. She has. A tree growing around her breast. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, she's not... You like tattoos, do you, Vitz? I like those tattoos. Are you thinking about having one done? Actually, yeah, I am. On my shoulder. I want to get Mr. Matt. <laughs> That's <laughs> oh my god. So great. I want a Matt's tattoo, too. I really want a Mr. Matt tattoo on my shoulder blade. That's awesome. And I won't regret that, ever. <laughs> I Do you regret this? You look like Mr. Matt right now <laughs> with a giant head with stitches on it and not paying any attention. And little, many games back. I just need a little hat. That would be great. <laughs> Do you want me to do that for Halloween? No. Come in as Mr. Matt? No, I want you to come in and work for Halloween. How about that? <laughs> That's what I want you to do that day. Be a good intern. I want you to come in like an adult and work, like a man would. So no Halloween costume. No, no we're not no. doing Halloween costume. <laughs> if you want, you can dress up and I'll have candy here for you. Just ring on the door. Do I have to go up? Do I have to knock on oh, that door? Oh, we ought to do the old because we haven't done this in a couple of years as like regular callers where we do the doorbell and we give out candy. All right. They have to describe, like Rorschach did today. <laughs> hey, I'm so glad you don't know. <laughs> Hold on, are you okay, Fez? I'm all right. Another what? heart attack? No. No, all no right. thanks. No. You look like a fucking maroon baked potato sitting over there. I don't know what the hell <laughs> you had planned. I think um, I sat on my cactus. <laughs> here is um, Justin. You're on the Run of Fez show. Hey, Ronnie. Oh, I just want to tell you, those tattoos are called uh, skank flanks. <laughs> I do also think this is the misogyny I talked about. That we just have no respect for women. Chris, you're on the Run of Fez show. Hey guys, uh, just you guys talking about the whole handle uh, rib cage tattoo? Yeah. Like literally two hours ago, I'm here at work, uh, and this super hot nurse is like, oh, "I just got a tattoo." I'm like, "Where at?" And right there in the rib cage, whips up the shirt, see the side boob. I'm like, "Uh," and it's like poetry, and I just go on the Andrew I couldn't even read it. I'm just like. Are you a doctor? Uh, I mean, you're bringing it your <laughs> enough. No, no. Oh, okay. Just wander into a fucking hospital. <laughs> Having another little drinky drink. <laughs> How many is that up to? Oh, six or something. <laughs> yeah, this is this is the way you drink when you're in a Ramada Inn in Des Moines. It's Fuck just, it. <laughs> <laughs> like the individual bottles make it so much easier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> those, those little bottles to me just say one thing. She left me. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking sitting in this room with two suitcases. <laughs> Fuck it. Look what it is. It's the lovely queen. Queen Elizabeth. How you doing, Queen Elizabeth? Hey. What do you say, sweetie? Um, I will be at the uh, Narc Zito event tomorrow. Oh. You know, oh. Oh. God save our queen. Yeah. I wanted to make a guess on the... Um, Christmas gift. Oh, we're not playing that game at all. <laughs> I have a feeling I know exactly what it what is. What is it? I was thinking he probably gave you um, a, a picture, say, like, uh, of you and him, like, way back in the day, of you and him standing together in a frame, like, that says, I love you on it or something, and you just put it down. It's more uncomfortable than that. <laughs> oh, wow. More, because if it was that, I would be able to get it. But <laughs> what... I saw. Completely freaked me out. That bad. It's very weird. World shattering? I don't know if it's world shattering, and perhaps I'm even reading too much into it, but it it completely weirded me out. I thought it was a picture, too, of some, of some sort. It would be normal. You do that. But what the, what the fuck? A picture would be a normal thing. <laughs> Try to think how crazy. You don't have gift. to think. I had no. Just I drop to, it. I know. I, I can't. Just drop I have it. to. Um. Here is uh, Jeff. Jeff, you're on the Run of Fez show. Hey, how you doing, Ronnie B? Maha Bone. Maha. Hey, bud. We uh, you talked about this about 45 minutes ago about jumping in the ocean. You believed it would sober you up. 
Cool. I'm here to tell you, my buddies and I have been going out of the Keys for about 20 years for lobster season, and after a long night of drinking, the next morning at sunrise, jumping in that water, it damn sure does sober you up. Uh, it's very, very helpful. It is very helpful. Have a good day, bud. You too. In the Keys, the water is hot as piss. Yeah, the water can be <laughs> hot as piss down there. There's no doubt. It's not going to wake me up, Benny. Filled with all kinds of fucking things that climb <laughs> on you. Oh. I mean, the, when you go in the Keys to me, it's like climbing in a, under a house into a basement. <laughs> There's just all kinds of shit <laughs> climbing around and doing oh. stuff. And everyone says, isn't that beautiful? I'm like, kind of. <laughs> you know, they look like bugs to me. That's fucking nasty. Well, no, it's the ocean. Yeah, that's their it's, world. It's fucking nasty, exactly. Do you find the woods nasty? Do you <sighs> like fucking like there's a shitload of bugs underneath the? Yeah, there's bark. going to be stuff climbing around in the and the, there's going to be bugs. Can't deal with that shit. You don't have to worry. You can't swim anyway. No, oh, I can't. Wow. <laughs> shit, that's true. Yeah, it is true. She pointed out an obvious fact. Congratulations. <laughs> I don't swim, right? I'm from Queens. <laughs> you and Earl both don't swim. And you have no excuse not to swim. My parents never took us to the fucking beach or I'm a goddamn sorry. fucking. How long have you been pool? an adult? <laughs> yeah, what, well, if I haven't fucking been up in that shit fucking as a child, I'm not going to fucking go out of my way to goddamn learn it. You take vacations to islands. That, those, yeah, <laughs> I realize. It would be helpful to you <laughs> to swim. You actually get in a pool, right? Yeah, I'll go in the pool. And yeah. Would you stand on the baby end? <laughs> <laughs> you hang out on the edge, is what you do. <laughs> that sounds like the most dangerous thing in the world. <laughs> that would be like I said to Fez, hang out on the edge here and drink. Out of this building. <laughs> We'd say that's crazy. I mean, you could now die yeah. for something that I could teach you to do in five, ten minutes. I know. I make bad decisions. I'm, I, I make I have <laughs> reckless behavior. It's... I think you make no decisions. <laughs> I think you just let things happen. You let them slide into nothingness like you did the preparation for that game show. Today. No, that game Cute show. Cute idea people, yeah. that went into just a slobbering, slobbering? non-fucking... Right, I'm going to ask Fez. Fez? You make the pick. Was that a run, a well-run game show? It was a slobbering mess. Okay. Oh, thanks, Fez. Were you? <laughs> did you think it seemed like a game show that you would see someone do for real? Oh the no! The idea was good enough. The thanks. idea was fine. Yeah. But the whole thing of forgetting to read it off, not having like fun sound effects. No, yeah, I know. And then going like, "Oh, well, what happened? <laughs> Fucking, it does work. You're crazy, not me." <laughs> It's not being helpful. That doesn't that, happen on TV shows? That sounds like a man who will never learn to swim. <laughs> and you know why you never learn to swim? Why? Because you have a problem just saying to yourself, I'm going to do something bad. Wait, I say I do, I'm going to do something bad? No, you don't want to do something new and not do it great. So you're like, I'm not going to ever try. Oh, I see what you're saying. You know, I'm going to tell you this right now. Yeah. If you learn how to swim, you're going to be able to save some someone. Th th you know who that is? Who's that? It's you, Chris. Oh, <laughs> the person that you never would make friends with. You. I'd actually love to see Hicks doggy paddling with a drink in one hand, a cigarette in the other. Yeah, me too. I would love to be able to do that also. All right? We're on the same page here. All right? but I, just, I can't. All right, let me give you this. Yeah. You go, you and your chick, we're on the East River. <laughs> You're just hanging out. It's a yeah. beautiful night. Yeah, yeah. She falls in that current. Yeah. yeah. What are you going to do? I'd probably foolishly throw myself in them if you both drown. <laughs> yes. Like, yeah, what it's, it's not yeah. a good thing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Throw her a boulder. <laughs> really, Fez? You couldn't have just said a regular size rock. Yeah, like a rock. <laughs> Come on. It's going to have the same effect. What would Thanks you do? for I, nothing. That's what you do for your check. Yeah. Suppose there's a six-year-old just going by. You're in the East River. Yeah. What do you do? You only have seconds to make this decision. I call for someone to help. No, you, you're not going, that kid is dead. Then, I, if you go out to the East River, that current's so fast, yeah. you're going to make that decision. You're going to yell, help, help, like an old lady looking at a fucking <laughs> thing, or are you going to climb in there? I guess me and that six-year-old are going down together. This is not helpful. I know it's not helpful, but I can't do nothing. I can't just fucking yell for help. You're doing nothing by diving on a baby <laughs> and taking it to the bottom. 
<laughs> That's nothing. You won't be alone. The six-year-old could probably swim. Oh, <laughs> oh give me a fucking break. It. Fuck off. It's true. Not every Chris six-year-old. Is, Chris is to be mocked. <laughs> all right, that was really blunt, all right? That was just fucking just giving direction to everyone. Vito, can you swim? Yeah. Would of course you, you can. Of course. It's normal. Of course. And you grew up in New York City, too, right? Yeah, I grew up in Manhattan. Yeah, because there are public pools here. I don't I'm go not, to the, Listen, you ever been to a story pools. pool? It's a fucking piss fest. <laughs> It's a pool of urine in the Astoria pool. All the better not to drown in it. <laughs> Just all the better not to even walk into it. You could. All pools are piss fest. So what? Swim through it. Chlorine kills. I don't think it kills that amount of piss. It's gallons. Yeah. Well, I told some girl she probably caught clap from the pool. <laughs> You didn't get it from me. You probably caught it from that pool. You was fucking skanking around in. Now stop coming around here. I gotta go pick up penicillin for a different reason. Um, here's Brian. Brian, you're on the Run of Fez show. Yeah, Chris. Uh, I was calling to let you know, man. My wife does this uh, during the summer on the side. Make extra money. She teaches swim lessons. She oh, does yeah? a bunch of kids and all that kind of stuff. But at the same time, she teaches quite a few adults, and it's not mm. unusual to to be over there. And the funny thing is, there's one dude in particular. He works at a hospital oh. in in the medical profession, and he's there year after year after year. So I think he's trying to just kind of get a little extra time with her. But yeah, it's it's not unusual. You're a cuckold, my friend. <laughs> you want that guy to bang your wife cuckold. in a fucking pool? <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's what you just yell, I'll bang your wife in a pool. No, that, he said that he wants the dude to bang his wife in a pool. <laughs> you're, all right? drunk, you're drunk from this. I've had a couple of fucking... Things. I've had like a half a dozen of these things, yeah. all right? So say they add up eventually towards the end yeah. of the fucking show. You're coming off... When you drink that, you look more like Andre the Giant than you know. <laughs> you're scaring everyone. That's fine. Fez, you never got around to your weekend. Did you put it up yet? Oh, no, I have not got that up yet. Jump on it, Kimasabi. Right, Jump right. on it. Um... Liz said Fire wanted to do the <laughs> If You Had Three Wishes. I knew it was cheesy. But it Spaceship. didn't catch fire the way we were all hoping. It's uh, better than Hex's game, though. Oh, yeah! give me a fucking... Oh, that's what? That's really, true. loser? That's really? True. You're, that fucking game was hot fucking fire, all right? <laughs> so what? I'm a shitty game show host. Who gives a fuck? The goddamn concept's fucking great. The person who cares is your bosses. <laughs> they care desperately. Fuck. <laughs> Maybe if you didn't give them tiny little drinks. Yeah, thanks for nothing. <laughs> Jesus, it's a fucking goddamn All right, that's snack pack of stop. tiny child-sized liquor bottles. Just, there's no such thing as a child-sized <laughs> liquor bottle. That would be a terrible thing. Then what's thing. this? No, it's drink. It's whiskey, but for kids. <laughs> Tired of your kids drinking adult portions? Get them child-sized drinks. Tiny hands. <laughs> Is it fucking getting warm in here, or, is, or if I just drank a bunch of fucking vodka in a short amount just of time? Relax. Just settle down. Settle down. Vito, I want you responsible for him. Take him out swimming after the show. Okay? That's a bad idea. I want you to, sw to swim, to swim him to the Statue of Liberty and back. No, thanks. Never been to the Statue of Liberty. and fuck itself. I haven't either been there. Yeah, me either. Neither have I. <laughs> <laughs> Who goes to Statue of Liberty besides all school children and fucking shitty European tourists? Everybody in Florida is like, oh, what's the Statue of Liberty like and this and that. I'm like, I have no idea. It's They're like, you lived in New York your whole life. I'm like, Exactly. That's why I've never been there. Well, just say to people, yeah, I was up in the crown. It was fucking great. <laughs> I heard you have to walk up like, stairs to get to the top, and I don't want to do that. That's too much work. <laughs> You've never walked up stairs before? Not that many stairs. It's a whole fucking giant person yeah. full of stairs. You realize that you're person. saying you can't do something that a slinky can. <laughs> no slinkies can't walk upstairs. You want to bet on that? D are you willing to bet on that one? What do I have to bet? Well, you're going to bet $200. money. Oh, okay. Uh, how much money? What do you got? On me? No. Do you want to make bet. the slinky bet or not? Let me look at my wallet. I actually think I have one in my purse. I'll bet you. Do you have a slinky in your purse? I'll bet you one dollar. No. You want to put up two hundred right now? I think oh, I took it out. two bills. I don't have two hundred dollars. You don't want to make the bet? No. You would have fucking won two hundred dollars. <laughs> Slinky cannot walk up the stairs. You were way too confident. They walk on down. That I know. That's how you got to play it. Carnies and Rube, kids. Carnies and Rubes. <laughs> Guess what you're doing? Walking down the fucking midway. You ready to bet it now, though? 
I'll, I'll bet it now. Yeah, they can walk upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> no, they can't. I'll bet you 5000 on it. <laughs> What's up this? Double down. <laughs> It's the old how to make, do you want to see a slinky go up the stairs bit when you're a kid? And then you just chuck the whole thing. <laughs> and then you take that fucking idiot's money off him. <laughs>